In the meantime, more than 2,000 vaccine doses from the federal government are on their way to Wisconsin grocery stores. Pick and Save and Metro Market now part of a federal program to get more vaccines to more people. Fox 6's Cassidy Williams live tonight to explain exactly how this works. Cassidy? Well, right now it's not as simple as just going and picking up groceries and then getting your vaccine. You have to be eligible and you do need to make an appointment online and a pick and save representative says this is good news that they have more supply. It is still not keeping up with the demand. As grocery store workers wait for their turn to get vaccinated, thousands of vaccines are coming to the stores themselves. From day to day, it just seems to change and you know, we're, we're as anxious as anybody because we're ready, willing, and able with our pharmacies to administer these vaccines. Um, and it's just was great news today to know that we're in this program. We're going to be getting more. The Kroger company is now a part of the federal retail pharmacy program in Wisconsin, meaning pharmacies at Pick and Save and Metro Market will soon get a supply of Pfizer vaccine from the federal government. There will be vaccine coming in uh, every week from two sources now, both from the state and from the federal government. So. I think it's huge in terms of, um, uh, of us starting to get uh, a rollout here of vaccines. This week, the company is set to receive more than 2,300 doses from the program, in addition to the 1,500 doses from the state, all to be distributed amongst the company's 67 pharmacies. We're still limited. We're still not getting that big wave of vaccines in that we expect to get at some point in time. Uh, where they can open it up to additional phases. So, VP of Communications um, James Highland part. is not releasing more details about past or future vaccine shipments. He says things are still too unpredictable. There's not necessarily a linear progression here. You just get what you get. Grocery store workers themselves were included in phase 1B, but they won't be able to get vaccines at where they work just yet. They are still not being prioritized by the state. Now, for more information, if you are eligible on how to get vaccinated at a pick and save, we have more information on fox6now.com. Live in Glendale, Cassidy Williams, Fox 6 News. All right, Cassidy, thank you.